Hello everyone, my name is Emma Wiggs and I am a para canoe athlete and I'm hopefully going to speak to you for about the next 10 minutes or so. Now you could be watching this at home uh, because you're doing it virtually through school or you could be maybe watching it in an assembly at school. But either way, what we're hoping to do is spend the next 10 minutes talking to you around some things that I've learned while being an athlete um, along the way that maybe you'll be able to try out in your lives uh, to help you as we face the challenges that everyone has got at the minute. Okay, so first of all, a little bit about me. Uh, as I said, my name's Emma Wiggs and I haven't always been disabled. I was actually able-bodied until the age of 18 and I went on a gap year to Australia. The plan was to work on a farm, um, go surfing, go traveling, do all the things you do when you're on the other side of the world to your parents. And I was gonna spend a year doing that before coming back and going off to university. But unfortunately, things didn't quite go to plan. And I contracted a virus, and overnight that attacked and destroyed some of the nerves in my body, which meant that I was paralyzed in my arms and my legs. Now you can see from the video that my arms work perfectly fine now. And I was very, very fortunate that after about six weeks, the nerves did recover in my arms, but they didn't in my legs, which meant that I had to get used to, to, to using a wheelchair, which you can't quite see on the video, but I am doing an incredibly impressive wheelie at the minute. Um, and my life therefore had to change really, really quickly. And I was faced with a huge challenge. Now the challenges that you're all facing at the minute with COVID and having to be at home or being also with school being disrupted, yes, it might be slightly different to the challenges that I've faced, but essentially it's the same thing. We might feel out of control. We might feel a bit sad one day. We might feel a bit lazy, like we don't want to do stuff one day. But hopefully I'm going to be able to share with you some ideas and tips that will help you get through the days and make the very best of the opportunities that you've got. So after I became disabled, I wanted to still carry on with my goal and my dream of being a PE teacher. So I had to spend a couple of years getting well enough, but then I went off to university, trained to be a PE teacher and got a job teaching sport um, to people in, you know, of your age. And it was brilliant. I absolutely loved it. And eventually, I then decided that I was going to try out Paralympic sport. And that wasn't until 12 years after I became disabled. And for those of you that are really on the ball, you'll know that an Olympics and a Paralympics happens every four years. So if I wasted 12 years before I tried Paralympic sport, that's three Olympic or Paralympic Games. And I kind of sit here now thinking, why did I waste that? And do you know what it was? It was because I was a bit scared. I was a bit scared that I might not be any good and that it might be too tough, it might be too challenging. And that if half of me didn't work, how could I possibly go and do sports? But you know, when I did, my life changed again in a moment. And really, all of our lives have got moments. Some moments are good, some moments are really challenging. And for me, it's how we react in that moment that will determine how successful we are going forward and also how happy we are. So whether the moment is something challenging like what I faced in Australia or something that might be just something more every day, like sometimes getting out of bed, turning up to your virtual lesson online, whatever it might be, there's a moment where you've got a choice. You can choose to crack on, to give it a go and to see what happens, or you can choose to not bother, but you have a choice. And it's really, really important that you remember that. Because when we have a choice, we understand that there are consequences of that choice. So let's carry on with the story. I went off to try out some Paralympic sports. And one of the sports I tried was a sport called sitting volleyball. So I don't know if any of you have seen it, but it's basically like volleyball, but you play it sitting on the floor. And you slide around really fast and try and keep the ball from touching the ground. And I found myself part of a team that were going to hopefully try and get to London 2012. So to that big home Olympic and Paralympic Games that we had. And we did. We worked really hard. We had some real challenges along the way, but we kept going. We kept working hard and we kept trying to push towards that ultimate goal of going to London 2012. And we made it. Now, we weren't very good. We actually came eighth out of eight. But we tried our hardest in every single game. And after those games, I realised it had kind of lit a passion inside me. It lit a passion that I wanted to see how I could make the bits of me that worked best, the best they could possibly be. I wanted to see if I could compete with the best athletes in the world. And in order to do that, I needed to change sports. 
So I went to have a, a, a go at canoeing. So you'll see a picture up there of, of me in a, in a kayak. And the British canoeing team approached me and said, would I come and try canoeing out? And you know, I loved it. It was a cold, horrible day in January, but it was brilliant. We're moving quickly in our boats. It's over 200 meters as fast as you possibly can. So it's a bit like the 100 meter sprint in athletics, but on water. And I suddenly found a new challenge, a new opportunity, a new moment where I had a choice. I could go with what the coaches were saying, see if I could believe in myself, see if I could accept the challenge to work hard and to try and become one of the fastest paddlers in the world, or I could think, nah, it's too risky. No one's guaranteeing me success, maybe I won't bother. And for me, that was another moment. So just like in Australia, all those years before, I was faced with another moment where I had a choice and I chose to, to take the chance. I chose to go and see whether I could make the boat faster. And you know, we did. We won eight world titles over the next, next few years. We went to the Rio Paralympic Games in 2016 and we came home with this. Now that's a chunk of gold, isn't it? And it was incredible what we managed to do. And that was all because we took a chance. Because when it was tough, we kept going. Because when we felt like we didn't know if we could do it, we found that bit of belief and we tried to make sure that we made the best of every single day to get that boat faster, to give us the chance to win gold. Now, it isn't all about gold medals, okay? Not everyone can go and win gold medals. But what I want you to think about today is what's your gold medal moment? What is it that you're aiming for? What is it that makes you happy? What is it that you're gonna push yourself to achieve? Because if you know what that is, you, all you have to do is find out how to get there. And then you need to give it your all. But without knowing what your gold medal moment is, it's really, really tough. So I knew in order to win that gold medal and hopefully, touch wood, in order to go to the Tokyo Games later this year, I need to work hard every day. I need to do the training my coaches say. I need to make sure that when it's tough, I get back up and I crack on again. And I need to make sure that I'm giving everything I've got to that goal of trying to get to the Tokyo Paralympic Games. And I guess it's probably about resilience. Have you heard a lot about resilience? Probably your teachers mention it a lot. And for me, that's true. You know, resilience is, is about recovering quickly from setbacks. But I think it's a bit more than that. Because like, sometimes setbacks are really hard, aren't they? Sometimes setbacks feel really challenging. But if we can always make sure that we try, if we can always make sure that we have the right attitude, then we're gonna be making sure that we're heading in the right direction. So don't worry if some days you feel really resilient and you could do anything, and some days you don't. That's perfectly normal. But what we can try and do is have more good days than bad days. So what I want to leave you with is my top tip. And it's really to make sure that we make the most of the moments and the opportunities that we've got. And it's really simple. It's an A, B, C. It's about your attitude, A. It's about your belief the B. And the C is for challenge. Okay, so if we're talking about attitude, what's your attitude when you wake up in the morning? You know, when you're brushing your teeth in the morning, look at yourself in the mirror and decide what sort of day you're going to try and have. Because I guarantee you, you're not going to look at yourself and say, I'm going to have a really rubbish day today. I just can't be bothered. I'm going to not, not try. I'm going to be really negative. I'm not going to do anything positive. You're not going to say that to yourself when you look at yourself in the mirror. So as a consequence, you're almost setting yourself up to have a better day straight away. So some days that might be, my attitude is gonna to be to turn up to my lessons, to ask a question. Some days it might be just to try and ask if someone else is okay. But whatever it is, choose your attitude for the day. You've got a choice. And the B is for belief. Did I ever believe that I could win a Paralympic gold medal? Do you know, I'm not sure I did all the time. But what I did believe was that I could try harder than anyone else, that I could try my best every single day and that I would give it all I've got. So find that belief in yourself. Look for what you're good at. Remind yourself what you're good at and believe that you can do anything that you put your mind to. And the C is for challenge. And by that, I mean, what are you going to do when an opportunity comes its way? What are you going to do when someone says, do you want to have a go at this? 
Do you want to, do you want to try this? Are you going to grab it with two hands? Or are you going to let it go? Did I ever think I could be a sitting volleyball player? No. Did I ever think I could go to two Paralympic Games and come back with a gold medal? Probably not. But if I hadn't grabbed that challenge with both hands and given it a go, we would not be sitting here today. So whatever it is you're facing, whether it's finding it tough at home, because it is really tough being at home and not being at school with your friends, whether you're having more bad days than good days, whatever it is, hopefully you can take some of the ideas I've given you today, think about your ABC, and hopefully move forward and be more, more successful and happier. And maybe I'll speak to you again one day soon.